Good morning. This, This is Hot FM. FM. I'm Yanni. I'm Jingwen. What's the news today? Today's big news are Hurricane Maria and the earthquake in Mexico. We will come back to you later. Stay tuned. As reported by BBC News, on Tuesday, 19th of September, a strong earthquake with magnitude of 7.1 has struck the center of Mexico, taking more than 200 lives and toppling lots of buildings in the capital. The earthquake struck only hours after the earthquake drew in the city, which has helped to mark the 32nd anniversary of a magnitude 8 earthquake in 1985 that killed up to 10,000 people. This powerful earthquake has resulted in 273 deaths, including at least 20 children, as reported by the officials. Dozens of buildings had toppled and collapsed during the 7.1 magnitude earthquake, causing the citizens to be trapped underneath. Rescuers raced against the clock to reach the trapped survivors. A rescue team was formed, which was participated by more than 500 members of the Army and Navy together with 200 police officers and volunteers. They have been working at the earthquake site days and nights. They believe that there are still people who was trapped alive in as many as 10 buildings in Mexico City alone. Although massive effort was paid by the volunteers and the army forces to distribute food and basic medicines to the victims of the earthquake, help has not reached everyone. In some badly damaged streets, there were still people who held up signs begging for food. This earthquake was the second big quake to hit Mexico this month, which was only about 10 days after the 8.1 magnitude earthquake in the south earlier this month. Hurricane Maria, a Category 4 storm, hit Dominica on Monday. The storm damaged hundreds of homes and caused at least 15 deaths and 20 others missing. It was a miracle that the death toll was not in the hundreds, said the Prime Minister of Dominica. On Wednesday, Hurricane Maria rampaged across Puerto Rico. It is said that Hurricane Maria is the strongest storm to hit the U.S. territory in nearly 19 years. Maria had hit the island's electricity grid so badly, leaving the whole island without power. The island's governor, Ricardo Rossello, said that it could take months to restore power from the damage caused by this storm. The hurricane brought severe damage to the island. It had flattened and destroyed hundreds of homes and schools. It cut off the telecommunications of the island and leaving the island main hospital without electricity. Low-lying streets in the island had been turned into a river. Winds as strong as 225 km per hour stripped roofs and fences away. According to the officials, the storm has taken 17 lives across the Caribbean, with many others missing. It was reported as the second most powerful storm that hit the Caribbean in this hurricane season, which the first was the Hurricane Irma, a Category 5 storm that killed at least 84 lives earlier in September. The news reported was taken from RTM, Astro Avani. Yeni, it's so sad to hear about these two news. Yes, but we can't predict what happens next. So, we, we have, have to appreciate what we have now. Thank you for listening. listening.